All right, here we go. Challenge of the Wayne Riders. That's a lot of cards out there. All right, 1A, the Wayne Rider camp setup. We're going to build the circuit. We're going to place the two objectives at this stage. We're going to add the champion up to the staging area, and then other players would have to add a location. Okay, give the encounter deck a shuffle. So this is a really neat quest with a racing mechanic. Let's take a look at the champion. So the champion has X threat, where X is two per player. Indestructible, four attack, X defense, five hit points, immune, cannot leave the staging area. And then while we are at the same stage as the Wayne Riders, the champion is considered to be engaged with us. All right, so that's going to be two threat. That's always up in the staging area. And we have the circuit here of these six quest cards that we're racing around. So this is our objective. We're the challengers. And it says forced when the players defeat a quest stage with the race keyword, and they all have the race keyword, we're going to advance this card to the next quest stage in the circuit. If we complete two circuits before the Wayne Riders do, we win. If the Wayne Riders complete two circuits before we do, we lose. Okay, so instead of using the card, I'm going to use my Legolas figurine from Journeys in Middle Earth because it's easier to move around than a card. And then for the Wayne Riders, it says if the Wayne Rider stage has damage equal or greater than its quest points, the Wayne Riders advance to the next stage in the circuit and you place any excess damage on that stage. And then forced at the end of the quest phase, we're going to place X damage on the Wayne Riders current stage where X is equal to the threat of each enemy in staging. I'm going to use this guy with the whip. Looks like somebody cruelly whipping a horse. All right, let's take a look at side 1B. All six of these quest stages have this race keyword, and this stage gets plus four quest points per player. This one says forced. When this stage is defeated, we make a racing defense test. To pass, we require one straight result, plus an additional straight result for each stage you have completed this round. If the players pass the test, any excess progress we made can be placed on the next stage. If we fail this test, we need to discard a random card from our hand. I'll go through those mechanics more in detail when we actually have to worry about the racing test. Who am I bringing with us? Well, this lineup might look familiar. The City of Olfast and the Challenge of the Wayne Riders both benefit greatly from having heroes with powered up stats. So we have Spirit Baragon, 10 threat, 0144 Sentinel, and then after he defends an attack and takes no damage, I get to reduce my threat by one, limit once. And then Tactics Aowen, 9 threat, but it's really 6 because she reduces your starting threat by 3. 4 willpower, 113. And then action, we can raise our threat by 3 to ready Aowen, and then she gets plus 9 attack until the end of the phase. And then finally, before we finish the series, I gotta bring back Haldir one more time. He's my boy. So we got Haldir, Lore, 9 threat, 2313, three, Sylvan Ranger, Scout, Ranged, Combat, Action. If I have not engaged an enemy this round, I can exhaust Haldir and declare him as an attacker against an enemy not engaged with me. We also are using the One Ring, Artifact Ring Master, Restricted. It's immune to non-Master card effects. And then set up, we're going to attach it to a hero we control. And then we get to search our deck for a Master card and add that to our hand. My Threat Elimination level is reduced by 5. And if the One Ring leaves play, we're going to lose the game. The card I'm going to grab is Inner Strength. That's going to give... Baragon plus one defense once I attach it. And we're also running the three hunters contract. So fourth, the three hunters. Uh, we can't include ally cards in our deck. Each of our heroes can have one additional restricted attachment. And then we reduce the cost of the first restricted attachment played on each hero each round by one. Refresh action. If each of your heroes has at least two restricted attachments, flip this card over. All right, awesome. My starting threat is a very low 25. And let's talk about how this deck can beat this quest. Honestly, defeating this quest with this deck is not a problem. I'm going to challenge myself to try to do two complete circuits before the Wayne Riders complete one circuit. I'm going to try to lap them. This quest really benefits from having heroes with powered up stats. If you can guarantee you're going to pass these racing tests and maybe even pass a second racing test on the same turn, you just fly ahead and you never look back. So that's my goal. I'm going to try to flip the contract as fast as possible, boosting everybody's stats in the process with their restricted attachments. And then when I do these racing tests, I should be able to easily pass the first racing test 
and then hopefully pass a second one and I, I will just fly ahead of these Wayne Riders. So that's the goal. Let's see if I can do it. I've come close a couple times, but I've never been able to lap them completely. I've almost done it. All right, we get well-worn. That's threat reduction. There's Winfola. That's a great one. Uh, a way to find a restricted attachment. Snowmane. Perfect. Uh, Foe Hammer and Unexpected Courage. I think Snowmane might be one of the most important cards in the deck. Snowmane or Unexpected Courage. So there's two restricted attachments on Aeolin. Baragon already has one. Open the Armory is going to find me one. So yeah, that's good. I mean, I'm already going to be um, almost there. I'm just basically two restricted attachments away from flipping the contract. And when Fola and Snowmane are great. Plus, you know, horses. I feel like I should get some horses in play on turn one since we're doing a chariot race. All right, we draw Daron's runes. So let's start out. We'll play open the armory. So I spend one resource. I get to look at my top 10 cards for a weapon or armor attachment. I'm always going to spend Haldir's resource on neutral cards because I really don't have anything to spend his resources on. And uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Gondorian shield. That's a good armor. And there's a long knife. I could grab that for Haldir. And there's his bow. So I could grab that as well. So, all right. Three restricted attachments that are available in my top 10. I'm actually going to grab Baragon's shield since the first racing test is a defensive racing test. Boosting his defense is more important than getting Haldir a weapon. So I'm going to give the deck a shuffle. And remember, the first restricted attachment on each hero costs one less. So I'll be able to put the Gondorian shield on Baragon for free and one of the horses on Eowyn for free. So Gondorian Shield gives him plus two defense if he's Gondor, so there we go. And then Eowyn, let's give her Winfola. So she gets plus one willpower. And then if she's removed from the quest, I can exhaust Winfola to put her back onto the quest. So Eowyn is gonna be questing for five. I get ahead of myself and say she's questing for six, but I do correct that next round. So she's only questing for five, only questing for five. And Baragon is defending for six. Now let's play some Daron's runes and draw two cards. Let's see what we get here. Uh, another Snowman and Drinking Song. Okay, Drinking Song is great because that should help me find Haldir's weapons. There are so many attachments that Haldir can hold on to. I'm really not worried about him finding two. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's good. Next turn, Snowmane will go on for free, and then Unexpected Courage will be able to be played on somebody, and then I'll Drinking Song and hopefully draw two cards that can go on Haldir, and we should be able to flip this thing. It's not as important to flip it on turn two or three, but I'd like to. Okay, questing for five, we get the Aggressive Racer. So, Archery 1, 1 threat, 4 attack, 2 defense, 3 hit points, and if we are ahead of the Wayne Riders, he would surge. And then after he destroys the character, we got to place damage on the Wayne Riders stage. Okay, we are not ahead. We are just right now milling around in the camp. The race hasn't really started in my mind yet. We're just milling around at the camp. And we have quested for five against three. So we're going to place two progress. Never mind my tokens. We have placed two progress as we are getting ready for the race. And then the Wayne Riders are going to place three damage. And then while we're milling around at the camp getting ready for the race, the challenger champion is going to attack us. So we're at the same stage, so we're going to get attacked by the champion. It's a four attack. Baragon is defending for six. Uh, the shadow is attacking him. He gets plus two if we are ahead. So it's no boost there. We take no damage, so we get to drop our threat by one. And then Haldir is going to shoot... At the aggressive racer, the aggressive racer is going to shoot at us with some archery. So we're going to exchange some arrows here as the pre-race is going on. And let's go into the next round. And this round, in my mind, is when the race really starts. Okay, I draw another foe hammer. That's great, but I don't have a weapon. All right, to start off with, Snowman is going to go on Eowyn. So after we quest successfully, I get to ready the attached hero. Questing successfully is after you do the math and determine your willpower is greater than the threat. So she will be ready before we have to do a racing test. Let's make sure we give everybody some resources. 
Okay, I have two spirit resources, so let's play Unexpected Courage. I'm going to put Unexpected Courage on Baragon, so then I can use him twice in a round. That's super important because he's going to be doing racing tests, and then he might have to defend as well. And now, Drinking Song. So, count the number of cards in your hand, shuffle them into your deck, and draw an equal number. Then you get to draw one more if you have a unique Hobbit character. So, we're going to draw four cards, and hopefully Haldir will get two weapons. I mean, really, I just need to get two restricted attachments. He can have a Gondorian shield, whatever it takes to just get him up to his two, and then we can flip the contract, and that will be awesome. So I love Drinking Song. We were just talking about it on an episode we recorded of the show, and it's just so much fun to redraw as many cards as you're shuffling in and kind of just see what new options you have. So um, once Drinking Song is available to you, Definitely put it in any deck with lore. It really helps you have possibilities in your hand. All right, four cards. Let's see. There we go. Open the armory. That's going to find me something. And then Raymond of War can't go on him. He's not a warrior. Another foe hammer and the bow. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to be able to flip this contract. So we'll put the bow of the Galadrum on Haldir for free, plus one attack, and then plus two when he's attacking somebody not engaged with me. And then I'm going to spend Haldir's resource for open the armory. And let's look at the top 10. Just give me something to go on Haldir and we will have this. All right, there we go, Merkwood Long Knife. That would work. And anything else? Ooh, Dagger Western A's. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna grab the dagger because Eowyn can pay for it right now. I could have grabbed the Long Knife and had Baragon help pay for it next turn. But if I do the dagger, then I get to flip the contract in the refresh phase of this round. So that is what I think I need to do to try to lap the Wayne Riders and complete two circuits before they complete one. So Aon will spend a tactics resource, and we are going to put in the Dagger of Western A's. So now Haldir has another plus one attack and plus two if attacking somebody with a higher engagement cost. So his base attack right now is five. Okay, cool. So it's five for him, and then here I realize Eowyn should only be at five willpower. I love saying only at five. She's only questing for five. So five willpower. So then there's me getting everything right. There we go. And everything else looks good. I have two cards to my name, but one of them's a foe hammer. Yes, I'm good. Okay, we are up against three threat. I'm going to send Eowyn for five, and let's go. The card we reveal is... A side quest? I don't have time for this. So, an arduous journey. And it's, I cannot ready more than six characters during the refresh phase. Okay, well, I'll never have more than three characters, so uh, that does nothing. Actually, there's a whole bunch of cards in this scenario that are basically nerfed if you run a three hunters deck because they're based on characters you control. <laughs> okay, uh, this is great. I made two progress and I had two on there. So that means I have cleared this stage. So when I clear a stage, I have to do a racing test. Even though I don't have any progress to place on the next stage, I still have to do the racing test. And so then you do that, and then at the end of the quest phase is when you do the Wayne Riders damage. So right now, I need to do a defensive racing test. So Baragon will exhaust and will discard six cards off the top of the deck, and we're looking for a straight there we go, there's a straight, so we passed it, so we don't have to do the negative effect for not passing. So that's great. So we have passed the racing test, and we will advance to stage two. The first sprint. As always, race keyword, four quest points per player, and then when it's defeated, we have to make a attack test, and we need a straight result if we wanna place any excess progress on the next quest stage. All right, the Wayne Riders, have placed three damage. So one goes on the current quest stage and then the other two spill over. So we are now neck and neck at stage two. The Wayne Riders have a slight advantage and the champion takes a shot at us. She's going to attack for four. Baragon's going to block it. The shadow is, if it destroys a character, it absolutely does not. I get to reduce my threat. And then we're gonna take a pop shot from the aggressive racer, but Haldir's gonna shoot back and we take out the aggressive racer. But because Haldir was able to kill somebody, I will exhaust a weapon, play Foe Hammer, and draw three cards. Gondorian Shield, Gondorian Shield, hands upon the bow. All right, so this is a very dangerous race where you're shooting arrows at each other. Imagine if the Kentucky Derby 
you know, the, the jockeys also had weapons that they could shoot at each other. I think that would make for a very interesting race. Okay, cool. Refresh action. Let's flip this sucker. All right. Each of my heroes can have an additional restricted attachment. Each of my heroes gets plus one willpower for each restricted attachment, and then I can exhaust this card to heal one damage from each of my heroes. So that's awesome. So let's exhaust it right now, and I'm going to heal all the damage on the board. Aowen is now questing for seven. Haldir is questing for four. And Baragon, if he wanted, he could even quest for two. All right, next round, everybody can still hold one more restricted attachment, which would boost willpower and potentially give... How dare even more attack? So let's see what card we draw. Oh, that's that's nice. Uh, Light of Valinor. Yep, we're gonna put that in play right now. So How dear will not exhaust to quest. So uh, that's amazing. So either Unexpected Courage or Light of Valinor on him, so I can use two of his stats around. Are uh, amazing. Okay, so we are we are sitting really good because Aowen's questing for seven, but I'm gonna give her this Gondorian Shield. So she gets plus one defense, but more importantly, it's a restricted attachment. So she gets plus one willpower. So now she's questing for eight. And if we quest successfully, she readies. The stage we are at will require an attack racing test. And if we fail it, we got to deal damage to each character, which isn't a big deal with a four to three hunters deck since I can heal everybody. So I have trouble figuring out my willpower because I double count some stuff. So I think I'm sending 14. I'm really only sending 12. I, I get it right, but... I'm sending 12 against 2, and we get the champion's cunning. More like the champion's cheating. So we're, if we're at the same stage as the Wayne Riders, we get attacked by the champion. Okay, not a huge deal. So we have Baragon up and ready. So the champion is attacking for 4. Baragon's defending for 6. Uh, there's no shadow. So we take no damage, and we get to drop our threat by 1. And then here I double check my willpower and that's where I get it right. So I'm actually sending 12. Okay, so we have 10 progress made. Four of it will go on the current quest. So the way I'm going to keep track of this is I'm going to keep closing the gap between the two markers. So we place four on the current quest and now we got to do the attack racing test. If we fail this racing test, we got to deal damage to everybody, which obviously is not a huge deal with this contract. So let's have Haldir exhaust. He is doing an attack racing test of five. We need one straight. Nope. Uh, turn. That's kind of a bummer. Victory. So that's nothing. Uh, wild. That works. Okay, that's my straight. So we're good. I did not like seeing that wild and turn go away, though, because it's a lot harder to pass a turning test. All right. So now we have advanced to the turnaround and we place four progress on there. We have enough progress that we can place four on it. So that means we need to do a willpower racing test and it's going to take two turn results to win because we've already cleared a stage this round. And if we fail it, then I have to discard an ally. So <laughs> that doesn't matter. So we're really just trying to see if we can place progress on the next quest stage. We have two more progress to place. So we're going to do Aowen's willpower test, which is eight. And we're going to see if we get two turn results. Turns are harder. There's a lot less turn results than straight. Okay, none. Not one there. That's a straight. There's a turn. Okay, we need one more. Straight or a wild. And, okay, we don't get it. So we don't get to place the remaining two progress on the next quest stage, but we still advance to the next stage. And because we failed the test, we have to discard an ally. So who cares? The farthest edge. Again, four quest points needed. It's a defensive racing test. And if we fail it, we need to reveal the top card of the encounter deck. All right, let's check up on the Wayne Riders. They are going to place two damage on their current quest, which is going to make them basically limp into the turn, falling quickly behind us. And because there's no combat, we just go right into the next round, and we draw Winfola. All right, nothing to really do in planning, so let's go questing. Aowen will be questing for eight, Haldir for four, and Haldir should not exhaust, even though I throw an exhaustion token on him. He should not exhaust to quest. So 12 against two. We should be able to widen our lead quite a bit and we get a rocky outcrop location. 
three threat and characters cannot be ready by player card effects while it's in the staging area. So we make the four progress needed to clear the stage. So now we need to do a defensive racing test. So we're going to use Baragon to test for six. Five, six, there we go. Looking for a straight. And there we go, we got it, okay. So we are going to progress to the next stage and we get to place the three remaining progress on it. The last climb. All right, so this one is going to require a straight to pass it. You're gonna use willpower. And if we fail to pass it, we need to put two damage on the Wayne Riders current quest stage. Speaking of the Wayne Riders, uh, where are they? So at the end of the quest phase, we're just gonna place two damage on their current stage. So they are lagging far behind us. And now we can travel to the Rocky Outcrop. So we need to exhaust a hero. Haldir should not have exhausted to quest, but Eowyn could not have ready because the Rocky Outcrop was in staging. So we are gonna travel to the Rocky Outcrop. It's three progress we gotta get through. And let's go into the next round. Okay, the card we draw is open the armory. Okay, great. All right, let's play that. So I'll spend Haldir's resource. We'll look at our top 10 and see if we can't find something to put on Haldir. What I would like is a Mirkwood long knife. That's probably the best thing I could find. Nope, nope, uh, nope, nope. It's gotta be an armor or weapon. Nope, nope, we might whiff here. No, hey, there we go. All right, cool. Mirkwood long knife is gonna go on Haldir. He's gonna get plus one willpower and plus one attack. So it's actually plus two willpower. So now he will be questing for six. So. That's great. So questing for six without exhausting. Eowyn's questing for eight and readies after she quests. So here we go. We are, we're flying through the circuit. So that's going to cost two spirit resources. We get a plus one attack boost and a plus two willpower boost. All right. Awesome. Let's head into the quest phase. And here I had to stop the recording and watch my video because I was pretty sure I should have had progress on my current stage. So after watching the footage, I do. I should have had three there that I was able to place for passing the previous racing test. Okay, 16 against two. The card we reveal, uh, another aggressive racer. So since we are ahead of the Wayne Riders, it surges, one threat, and it surges into a narrow pass. Okay, while well, that's the active location, we can remove damage from the Wayne Riders stage if we're at the same stage. All right, so we're gonna place three progress to clear the active, and then one progress to clear the stage we're on. And that means we have four progress that can spill over to the next stage if I pass a willpower test. So I'm gonna do a willpower test, and I don't have enough cards in the deck, so I'm gonna look at these and then discard the remaining that I need to. Yep, no problem, we just needed one straight. So that was no problem. And now we shuffle in the encounter deck and I need to discard the rest. I'm gonna make sure those are all spread out. That was a bunch of straights all bunched together. I wanna get them a little more fanned out. So I think we need to discard three more cards to have the full racing test completed. Uh, we've already passed it. So that means we are gonna place four progress on this final stage of the circuit. And it's the most difficult one. This following stage is the hardest one to complete. So let's discard the next three cards. I don't want any of these to be a turn. Don't be a turn. Straight and, okay, great. And not a wild either. Okay, let's look at this last quest stage of the first time we're going through the circuit. So this is the home stretch and four points needed, but we need to do an attack racing test and we need a turn. And if we don't get one, we remove the progress we placed. So you don't get to advance unless you get a turn and I am placing four progress. So if I can pass this thing, I will advance, but I need two turns. All right, I could use Eowyn's big attack thing, but I'm gonna save that for the final home stretch when I go around the second time. All right, so I need Haldir to do this with a six. There's one. Nope, straight, come on, come on. Ah, okay, only one turn. So I needed two because I'd already completed a stage this round. So that stinks because all the progress is lost and I'm stuck here now. And the Wayne Riders are going to finally get around the turn. And okay, uh, the narrow pass, we can travel there. 
And now this guy, Haldir's exhausted. So I'm just going to take one point of archery from Baragon and then heal it off. I guess I could have engaged him and defended him and just left him engaged with me, but uh, I didn't. So, all right, what do I draw? <gasps> Strider. Okay, Strider's great. So Strider will give Eowyn plus two willpower. If I only had two heroes, she wouldn't exhaust a quest. But now, now Eowyn's questing for 10. All right, that's, that's awesome. Okay, that's it. So Eowyn's questing for 10. Haldir is questing for six. So it's 16 against three. And the card we reveal is, oh, I did not want to see this. That sucks. It's the Ravine Ledge. It's a 4-4 location. While it's in the staging area, we need an additional success card when we do a racing test. And to travel there, we got to do an attack test. And it also has the turn on it. So oh, it's one less turn in the deck. I still need two to complete the stage, just like I did last round. That's poopy. Okay. Um, well, I made enough progress to clear the active location. And I'm going to place four on this quest. So... I need to pass an attack test with two turns. Yikes. All right. Here we go. An attack racing test of six. Come on, Haldir. Turn. Nothing. Turn. <laughs> Wild. I can't believe it. I, I thought I was going to be stuck here. I did not think I was going to be able to do it. <laughs> That's great. Okay, cool. So five went on the active location. Four went on the quest. And so we advance back to the camp. And so now we have started our second circuit. Oh, man, that's great. The Wayne Riders place three, so they are now in the fifth stage. Okay, to travel to the ledge, we need to do an attack test. And if we pass it, we draw a card. If we fail it, we discard a random card. Let's do an attack test with... Eowyn or Baragon? I guess it really doesn't matter. They're both just a one. Okay, so we got to discard a random card. The only card I don't want to lose is my hands upon the bow. So we do travel there, but we still have to discard the card. So as long as it's not hands upon the bow, I'm fine with it. I think I'm going to end up engaging that racer. Okay, good. Raymond of War. That was useless. Let's engage the racer. We got archery one. Baragon can defend it, but I cannot kill the guy. Baragon will exhaust to defend and then ready himself and the shadow is oh archery there we go archery on Eowyn the shadow is either exhaust a character I control or return the enemy to the staging area all right well that's why you always use unexpected courage before you flip the shadow in that action window after the character is declared a defender all right this guy's still engaged with me and I can go into the next round. You know, these 300 deck, you really don't play a lot of cards once it's up and running. It's pretty powerful. You just, the whole goal is to get it up and running as fast as possible. So there's lots of duplicates. Okay, there was Light of Valinor again. Don't need that. And, yep, Hands Upon the Bow is the only card that's really useful right now. It's going to be hard to lap these guys. I mean, as long as they don't make a ton of progress, I have a chance. But it's going to be tricky. All right. Ah! Dang it! The ravine ledge again? How many ravines are around here? So that's... I need two successes to to pass the first racing test. Okay, so we make a lot of progress. So let's put the progress on the active location. Eowyn should be ready because we have su successfully quested. And I have a total of six progress to make. So four goes on my current quest. I got to do a defensive racing test, and I need two straight to win. So two straights. Let's go. Nope. There's one. There's two. Okay, great. Three, four. Holy cow. Okay, so we do pass this racing test, and now we get to put the two remaining progress on this stage. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. Having to quest over four progress and then place four progress uh, stinks. The Wayne Riders place there to damage. We will exhaust the ready Eowyn, who readied after uh, we quested successfully to do an attack test of one, and it's straight, and we needed turn. Okay, so we don't pass that. 
So that means we have to discard another random card. So here's another chance for me to lose my hands upon the bow. I only have four cards. Please don't. Hey, all right, cool. All right, uh, easy combat phase coming here. So we have archery one. Let's deal that out. There we go. Baragon will exhaust to defend. No shadow. So he takes no damage, drops my threat by one. And this time Haldir's ready. So Haldir can kill this guy. He's attacking for six. And then I will exhaust the contract, heal all the damage, and let's go into the next round. I'm, I'm hoping I can clear two stages next round. I'm hoping I can make 10 progress, but I have that four progress active location, so I don't know if I can. And we draw Strider. All right, don't need another copy of that. So, uh, not playing anything. So just sending 16 against two, and we get the narrow pass okay that does nothing really so it's just a three three so we added three threat so that's 11 progress four goes on the active location and now four will go on. oh no two will go on our current quest and now we need to do an attack test to see if we get to place progress on the next quest we do an attack test of six thanks to Haldir. we need one straight one straight a wild that'll work okay so we got it wow two wilds so we do get to place any excess progress on the next quest stage and we have five more progress to place so we can place all four progress there which means we advance to the next stage and we can place one progress on that if we are successful so we need to do a willpower and it is None in the top two cards. Then we shuffle the deck, and now we get to discard the next eight cards because it's a willpower test of 10, thanks to Eowyn, and we need two turns. So we're going to discard eight cards, and we need two turns in order to place one progress on the next quest stage. If we fail the test, we have to discard an ally, so that doesn't matter. But it would be nice to just place that one progress. You advance no matter what. Now we're just checking to see, do we get to place any remaining progress. So eight cards being discarded. We need two turns. Come on, Eowyn. Uh, straight. Wild. Nothing, nothing straight. Come on. Turn. There we go. We got it. Okay. Awesome. So we were able to place one progress on the next quest stage and we've almost lapped these guys. So we're getting close. They're going to place two progress on their stage which is going to propel them to the final stage of the circuit. Now I screw up. I put just one damage here. I don't know why I should have put two. So they should be on the final stage with no other damage on the stage. It doesn't affect the game because the end result is going to be pretty much the same. So the Wayne Riders should be at the final stage right now. All right, I draw well warned, some threat reduction. Helps me keep Haldir shooting up into the staging area. And we just go right into the quest phase. 16 against 2. And let's see if we can win. We got to win this round. And Chariot Driver. Okay, this is interesting. But I think I have a plan. When revealed, either place 3 damage on the Wayne Rider stage or he's going to make an attack against me. I think I can take the attack. Because what I'm going to do is let the attack happen. And then in the action window that opens up right after you deal the shadow card, I'm going to play Hands Upon the Boat because I can take an action after I deal a shadow card, and I'm going to kill that chariot driver. Okay, so we added no threat. Haldir's exhausted now. Because we quested successfully, Eowyn readies. We're going to place the progress on the location. That was three. So that leaves us with three to place on our current quest stage. Baragon needs to do a defensive test. So I need one straight. No, no, turn, no, no, uh, uh, yes, straight, okay, Whew. okay, one straight out of those six cards, but I do pass it, so I get to place excess progress on the next quest stage. I have six more progress to place, so four go there, and if I want to place the two on the final quest stage, I need to pass a willpower test with two straight results, so Eowyn will be mustering up her willpower. And let's see, 10 cards, so straight. Well, there's one, and straight, perfect. Okay, Ooh, lots of straights. Turn, turn, straight. Okay, I don't like seeing those turns go away. So we do pass this one, 
and we don't have to place damage on the Wayne Rider stage. That's what would have happened if we failed it. So now we are two progress away from winning, and here's why it didn't matter. The Wayne Riders are now with me, and they should have already been there with zero damage, so that one should just be a two. So it, it didn't really affect anything. Baragon will defend the champion. Turn! Arr, I don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing that turn go away. That was three turns. Okay, so Baragon defended that. We have our threat reduced. We are almost through the circuit twice, and the Wayne Riders haven't completed it once. They should be sitting there with two damage. Okay, Snowman doing nothing. Let's go. 16 against two, and we reveal... Ah, God dang it, this one is a wild. So many turns came out at the last second. Okay, so I get attacked by the champion. I'm going to ready, and then uh, attack enemy gets plus two. Okay, no problem. We take no damage. All right, here we go. We have definitely made enough progress. We just need one turn result. So I'm going to ready Aowen with her special ability and raise my threat by three to give her plus nine attack. So this is going to be a turn racing test for 10. So here we go, 10 cards. I need one turn. All right, well, that was anticlimactic. There it was. <laughs> I mean, it was the bottom card of the deck. Was there any up closer? Oh, there was. Okay, so I think I had it beat no matter what. But there we go. We lapped them. They did not complete one circuit, and we completed two. So um, that was great. This is a very fun deck to take up against this quest, and I hope you give it a try. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun to play. Uh, you have to give yourself an extra challenge if you're going to take this deck up against the quest. It handles it pretty easily. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.